We've been seeing a heavy fall off in the priority of both of these healers, but there's a Baron pick. When yeah. you want to win if you're G2. Yeah, I, I knew Baron would come oh. up eventually. <laughs> um, Grumchaw is great because he can eliminate someone off the map for three seconds in his tummy with his um, stuffy, stuffy. So let's see what Team Series is going to respond. They probably will pick Glaive here potentially because Glaive can stun and get on that Baron or Taka. Uh, Weapon Taka they have done successfully. He can also kite in over a Grump Jaw O and dodge it completely. So Taka would be a good pick or Glaive would be a good pick and here. In Europe, this is now the fourth time Grump Jaw has been picked. Two of those previous three were G2. Interesting. They haven't made it work yet. It still hasn't doesn't have a win in Europe. But they are one of the few teams that has and been actually... They did lose. It was against Cyclone. But since then... Grumpjaw's received substantial buffs, and this CP Grumpjaw, I'm a huge believer in it, and actually I think it's a perfect, like, hero to, to kind of pair with a Baron so that you have so much more peel available to the Baron to get him through teamfights. There, there's definitely been a few iterations of Grumpjaw ever since, like, the, the first playing of him here in the split. We've seen CP, we've seen Captain, we've <laughs> even seen Weapon. Uh, certainly fun times abound for this hero, but coming in with Dark Potato, like, I said a bit earlier, like, Dark Potato definitely more known for his jungle uh, melee status, and, well, I mean, Grumpjaw is technically melee. I'm just not entirely too experienced, I guess, about how exactly a lot of these fights are going to go with him. Well, there's a couple of options. You know, you either swallow I'm the Doom, like the desk was saying, so that Handel has a bit more survivability in the fights, or you swallow Just Men and just try and focus down either Leon or I'm the Doom in the fight, and there's no healing or fountain available, Crucible, or those activatables. Or you can swallow Leon, like, and then you kind of get rid of a lot of the sustained damage in the fight. It yeah. really just depends. <laughs> there's a lot of different ways to do it. I actually think that G2 are going to play more reactive uh, and try and swallow up the person who is showing the most kind of trouble towards Hundle, which is most likely going to be I'm the Doom. Uh, anytime I you know, bring CP Grumpjaw into my solo queue games, it's usually about, about peel. So, you know, if you're against an Ozo, you can use Stuffed against his Bangarang and pull him out of the Bangarang, um, which means that your carry doesn't ever get affected by that. Uh, so my um, my experience of CP Grumpjaw is that, you know, Dark Potato is going to be looking to try and peel as much as possible and just pull off one of the main targets Oof. from uh, from Hundle. But he's in trouble right now, is able to get the... Uh, the hangry away means he won't get too much hope, uh, coming on to him, but he did lose out on that Elder Tree and in the middle of the map. The living armor is also going to be another big thing here for Dark Potato in these fights. You know, how, how quickly can he make sure that uh, if he does get uh, kind of focused down, like the armor starts stripping away, how quickly he can get that back up? It goes a long way for his survivability on top of it. But what you're just telling me, I guess, Dowsy, is that like Dark Potato is going to swallow up somebody. Hmm. But I mean, it, 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 I it's going to be the person. <laughs> I'm the Doom is like, in your head, it's going to be I'm the Doom, right? More than not, it's going to be I'm the Doom. But if, for example, Leon, and we've seen Leon's Adagio, it's extremely aggressive. If he gets right up in Hundle's face, the Dark Potato may look to swallow him up. This is going to be a kill going G2's way, though, as Justman gets caught out. You cannot dance with Dark Potato's CP Grumpjaw at level 3 towards... Six, it's just, he, that's when he does the most damage in a game. All right, so I'll keep an eye on I'm the Doom throughout this game to see how really effective uh, this strategy will be. But picking up a first blood has got to feel good here for G2. Into the first game three of the weekend, I mean, nobody really wants to be into the game three unless you're the losing team and now you're rolling on top of some momentum. But uh, Hundor on top of this Baron there as well. We, we talked a bit about timers this weekend in terms of like, sometimes it'll take a while for here to come online. Others have kind of like this time limit that they kind of place on the matchup. Hundor is, is going to be one of those uh, heroes here with Baron that is going to be imposing a little bit more pressure on top of Team Series because the later that this goes and the more items he's able to get, especially if they continue to get kills this early on, uh, that, that's going to get accelerated. But once he starts popping off, like the damage is just immeasurable from this guy. I love the way that Dark Potato set up the wave there as well. He's like, all right, two hits on this minion, one hit on that one. Dark, a hundle, come on in. One auto attack will get three of them for you. Uh, so some nice team play coming forward. But, you know, G2, very experienced with playing this Baron Hundor, very good at it as well. And a lot of people predicted that Baron would be very strong in 2.3 due to the attack speed changes. And because, you know, Baron isn't really 
huge on attack speed is more on about the on hit damage that his auto attacks can throw out. Um, <clears throat> he's in a good spot right now, and so if Hundle can get towards that late game, then that is a lot of risk factor that Team Secret are going to be dealing with. Yeah, so that's that's a lot about G2. Let's take a quick look at the strengths here of uh, Team Seeker, because Leon, he's going to be coming back to lane, doing very well for himself out there as well, just neck and neck with the last hits, and just man, as you see, comes in, makes sure that no last hit goes unanswered. But Leon has first item. At the same time, Hundor seems to have his there as well. Uh, Dark Doom. Six. Okay, Dark Pedea is level huge. six. Doom is level six. But Doom is actually going to be going forward with a very weapon-heavy Taka here. Straight on to Leon, there it is, the stuffed onto Leon, he's going to be put under the turret, he's just dead! That is the power of CP Grumpjaw at level 6 for court, and you can see Dark Potato just able to find an easy kill. Justman goes down for a double, and well, Doom, he's stealthed, he does get revealed, he will be able to get behind his turret. You just have to respect the damage that comes out, because not only is stuffed a great movement ability as it swallows up a target, but actually on CP Grumpjaw, it does so much damage. And uh, that that close to the you know, midway point of that lane as well. You get stuff, you have a few hops and a bounce, and you're right under your own turret on top of things. So really good stuff. You know, Dark Potato abusing that power spike, making the kills happen. L Doom, typically like with the targets, like, oh, he's level 6, we got that Xretsu, right? You set up Justman with an Impale, you Xretsu in, you got that weapon, Taka, now building up pretty heavy. And uh, that could actually be very scary, but definitely more, more the scare factor for G2 this early on. You don't usually see a Baron composition making early moves, but with a CP Grumpjaw you can, because of the amount of early damage uh, that comes out of it. He's going to get himself his Aftershock very shortly, uh, Dark Potato, and that's going to be the Storm Crown or Aftershock completed. I think it'll probably be Aftershock with the, the banner there. Currently Nakoa just holding the wave whilst we see this kind of hyper farm Baron start to be set up. G2 love doing this whenever Hundle's on Baron. And it's it's just a really good way to again shorten that timer, right? You come online with three items on this Baron, and all of a sudden, like almost the, the fold is your oyster. Barring any kind of silly, silly moves, uh, you are going to be having yourselves a, a wonderful game right there. And Dark Potato with that aftershock, with that crown that he's going to get eventually. This should be the ooh. oh. Okay, that is I was going to so... say, big cooldown reduction gains, right? You can get stuffed every 20, 30 seconds, but no, we're going to go straight damage. Watch this. He's going to dive straight on, onto a target and just blow someone up. I'm the Doom, dead in just a second. No, he gets away, but Leon may not have the same target. Justman goes down. Leon gets chased. G2 with a bit of lack on focus. I think they probably could have got two or three kills there if they uh, blew up a single target together. But uh, that, is, uh, that is a really interesting buy, something I haven't actually seen. Uh, on CP Grumpjaw competitively is a Shadow Glass coming in, but when you think about it, there's very squishy targets. Leon will be squishy, Doom will be squishy, Justman maybe not as much, but uh, the CP ratios on uh, your A, your B, and your C with the damage it can throw out, the Shadow Glass will certainly be able to uh, to, to eat into into some health bars. Glad you know your alphabet there, Dowsy, but uh, the squishy comment, right, that is that is the big thing that's going to be resounding throughout my head in a lot of these fights, right? This is this is very much a catch comp. Like, if Team Seeker gets that Impale, they got the Githian, Taka gets a, a lot of free damage in, right? Leon, perhaps, as well. Whew, not even close, that anchor. Yeah, not, not worried, right? <laughs> uh, but the squishiness factor, like, if they don't get those kills, Hunter's going to have a field day. Dark Potato has, has a nice spread of damage, as he mentioned. It's uh, just... If they make a misstep, Keanu has quibbles, he has that fortified health to keep this this fight going, and Team Secret are, are very much going to be like this this one-pump chump right there. They have to get a kill very quickly in these fights, otherwise I fear for their sustain. Yeah, 100%. You have to blow up Baron and Hundor. Look at him. He's just pushing his uh, B towards Third that item. overdrive at yeah. level 9. He may even go for it, perhaps probably going into his ultimate for the increased attack speed, but... Uh, you know, at, at some point, Hundor, sorry, not attack speed, attack range. Um, at some point, Hundor will be almost uncatchable uh, with his jump jets, and that's a huge problem for uh, I'm the Doom and Leon if they're getting blown up by Dark Potato. Yeah, getting that B and C overdriven um, would, would definitely be the way to go here for Hunter. We actually saw in Challenger last week a, a really early Baron doing very well, but he overdrove his A. And then mm -hmm. by the time it came down to it, uh, it just one reflex block wasn't enough, right? The jump jets are so very important. That, that attack range is so very important. So I can G2, as I said, they got the positioning. They have the flare. They know Leon's up here. 
Well, I am. Um, I'm not in here, but now I am. Dark Potato's looking for the fight. Leon's in so much trouble. He is just dead. He yep, uses that gone. reflex block to try and predict the stuff, but Dark Potato holds on tight for it, and that's going to be him losing his life. Now, five kills to nil as G2 just using this CP Grump Jaw to make their way forward. It, it just it makes so much sense with a Baron. Uh, I've never really considered it with a Baron because I haven't been in a scenario where uh, where I would be looking for it, but it just the, the amount of kill, the slows, the stuffed ability to swallow someone up and you know do a huge chunk of damage at the same time means that Hundle just feels so safe in all these fights. Well, you're also an Idris player. Like, how often... Uh... I'm a Grumpjord player as well. Yeah, well, Look at my... I've only ever seen you play Idris, but... <laughs> you haven't seen me play anything. You, what are you lying? You're a liar! You uh, don't spectate my games for court. I'm going to take a little bit of offense to that one, but we're going to move on because we're professional <laughs> and everything. Second damage item here for Leon. Ten minute mark. I mean, it's not the worst. It, it's definitely not looking good overall from Seagram. But pick up that second item goes a long way here from Leon. And we went from the Sora Blade into an Atlas here for the June because they know that Hundor, he's getting a really good game in, right? He is now sitting on three items. He has the monocle to go with that Sora Blade he picked up early and now a tornado trigger from the back of uh, a lot of these engages here on top of it so atlases needed to come out just man has only the tier one armor because he went into the crucible so at least they spread their options but dark potato so far has just really been wrecking havoc like that i think the last fight he had him hitting in the four to five hundred damage range yeah it's it's crazy the amount of early game damage that it does and uh we'll have to see how fur he can take it out it does fall off a little bit see grumshaw but that's when weapon Power Baron comes in. You see him looking forward, looking to get in. Oh, that was Crucible. The Crucible comes out, but Stuffed is still available for Dark Potato. Has not used it yet. He's just kind of poking more than anything with his uh, with his B ability. And G2, they're, uh, they're looking for a fight here. Just waiting for uh, an engage to come forward. And Justman goes in and he just gets stunned and he's going to get deleted. Leon, he's being nom nom nommed. He gets spat out and he's the only man left alive. Oh. Blown up by Dark Potato. And that is just incredible damage coming out. G2, they find an ace at 12 minutes. And not only that, they're going to find two turrets for themselves. <laughs> Gotta wonder if this is like a new power comp or not. We'll have to see if we're gonna uh, see kind of more of this down the line. Uh, because this weekend, I'm not entirely too sure a lot of teams will have a grump jaw kind of ready to roll, but we'll have to see what G2 else uh, can do with it and if it gets copied through. Because it does really seem very fluid for these guys, right? Early on, no problem. They just farm up, they hit level six, they get a gank, good power spike, they've Hyper farmed Hundor up there. I have to see if he can live, but it's it's just coming up aces so far here for G2. Yeah, you know, already four damage items for Hundor, and he's minutes. still oh. unscathed. Hundor's ability to power farm and just stay relevant in uh, on a Baron is incredible, and he's got three kills to his name, Dark Potato five, and uh, this this team from G2 have just been coming up aces. Crystal Sentry going to go down. That's its first life taken out. We're two minutes away from a Kraken. Uh, it, it kind of sounds weird saying that, Forecourt, because Baron is at four damage items. But... Yeah, 12 minutes, man. That's that's almost a record. Right? Oh, this is uh, this is, this is is insane, and I, I kind of don't know how Team Secret get back into this. Like, Keanu Nakoa, he's got a contraption, but he's also just bought 10 players on top of that. So... <laughs> They, they're prioritizing vision. They want to know exactly where Team Secret are at all times. Yeah, I'm going to be a little bit blunt here, though, Dowsy. I'm not sure Secret can get back into this one. Like, I'm, I'm trying to rack my brain. I'm trying to find a, a favorable situation, but G2 are sticking together. They are not splitting up. There's no split objectives here. It's all about the team power that they have to them. And as long as Keanu puts his final point into that anchor when he hits level 12... Team Secret are not going to have the tools uh, in the toolbox, really, to kind of deal with the engage potential here from G2. Doesn't seem likely. I'm 100% with you on that one. Dark Potato, for those interested, has overdriven his uh, ultimate ability for the extra cooldown. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. Unless you're playing Weapon Grump Jaw, you usually overdrive that uh, that ult ability um, for the, the added um, utility it provides because as this game goes on, yes, Dark Potato will stay relevant, but actually he kind of just sets things up for Hundor uh, now. And 
I can't wait to see how much Hundle's going to be critting uh, in this next fight. We might see it soon. Team Secret have pushed right up. They just got spotted out by a scout trap. G2 may look to just push into the base here. They're going to bush bait. Here comes Justman, Hundle, the main target, but he jumps straight out and Justman's getting denied, annihilated, destroyed. It's a, a tragedy for Team Secret as they're just going to take down one by one. I'm the Doom, can't escape. He goes down. It's just Leon stuck on up and the the Hundle outputs is unbeatable. An ace at 15 minutes. They don't need no Kraken to win this game. They got themselves a Grump Door. He's basically the same thing. And with turrets falling left, right, and center, G2 are going to take the third game of this series and progress to the finals of week two of Split 2. An absolutely overwhelming game. Like everything really went G2's way. Uh, early on, they did.